Good morning, everybody. It is a wild Wednesday. We have a bunch of wild women in the studio, and wild women cause craziness and havoc, or they cause shopping to happen. And today, we're going to talk about a shopping experience that you're going to get to do. So for you husbands, leave the room because your wives are going to be talking about, oh, I can buy this, and I can buy this, and I can buy this, and we're going to do that in a few minutes. But I have to tell you, today, from 3 o'clock until 6 o'clock at 261 Roy Haynes Drive in Ball Ground. If you need clothes, and there are a lot of blue jeans there, there are a lot of ladies' tops, there are a lot of um, different sizes, you name it. We're going to be giving away the balance of what's left from the yard sale that we did for Dominic's mission at 261 Roy Haynes Drive in Ball Ground. It happens today from 3 to 6 o'clock. And um, if you have needs, if you have kids who have needs, if you can use any of the stuff we have, you're welcome to come and get it for free. And again, it is 261 Roy Haynes Drive in Ball Ground. It is just past Calvin Farmer Park, just right off of Old Dawsonville Road. So it's just one more way that giving back, giving back, giving back. That's what these communities we serve do best. Now you're going to meet a couple of ladies in just a minute who um, give back, and that is what the world is about. We have a choice. We can either give back or we can sit back and do nothing, and I think it's really cool when you're giving back and you choose to do something in your job and in your workplace that is giving back, so we're going to share that. Also, I want to remind you on November the 12th, you have got to be front and center at First Baptist Canton, 4 o'clock. Get there about 3.30 and get you a good seat because the Isaacs, Glory Bound, John Bowman, it's going to be great entertainment. Linda Autry is going to be playing piano, and everybody in 20 counties knows that she is the best on piano. So please come out and help us raise money for the White Christmas. This is the 36th year that Bob and Linda Reese have provided Christmas for the needy kids in Cherokee County. Last year, over 700 children had Christmas because of Bob and Linda Reese and because of your generosity if you're a business, if you're a business owner, this is tax deductible, so please pick up the phone and call me, call Bob, call Linda, and write us a check and let us put it in the pot and let us help the kids in Cherokee County. These are children that are in um, foster care or in a transition period because something happened with their family that the child had nothing to do with, and it is just giving back to children who are in a position that can't help themselves. So again, once again, this is 36 years of doing that. So please come out. Number one, you're going to get the greatest group in bluegrass music today, the greatest group in gospel music today. The Isaacs are award-winning, amazing, amazing, and uh, I would love to see you there. And I would love to see you with your checkbook there. So, all right, let's introduce our guest. Okay, girls, tell folks who you are. Good morning. How Thank you for you? having us. You're I'm welcome. great. My name is Jamie King and I have with me June Ash. We are from North Georgia Family Partners in mm -hmm. Jasper mm -hmm. and we are very fortunate that this year we are getting to host the annual holiday market in Jasper. Didn't happen a couple of years because of COVID, is that right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, that COVID knocked out a lot of things. It did. Yeah. But we are super excited, have approximately 90 vendors, arts mm -hmm. and crafts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our event this year is November the 18th and 19th. Um, Friday night we do sell tickets for that event. It's dinner. Mm -hmm. G wonderful girls night out, come in, have dinner, shop, mm -hmm. tickets. We do still have tickets available. Those are $25 each. Okay. Um, all money raised does stay in Pickens County mm -hmm. with nonprofits. Over the past 11 years, we've been very fortunate and blessed to give back $70,000 awesome. to the nonprofits in yeah, Pickens County. That's awesome. And, and when we look at the economy 
sadly has taken a turn as a realtor. We got numbers day before yesterday that home sales are down 27 percent. Mm -hmm. So everybody is is getting that pinch. You know, we're all buying gas every day. We're all mm -hmm. buying groceries every day. There are families who really may not be able to heat their homes this year. Correct. Because you have to make a decision. Do you feed your children or do you heat your home? So y'all right. do provide funds to, you know, to put heat in a home. Yeah. It's very, very important. And North Georgia Family Partners, we are a chapter of Prevent Child Abuse mm -hmm. Georgia. Mm -hmm. So we go into these homes and provide parents with the tools necessary to break the cycle. Mm -hmm. Right. Stop the madness. It's often four generations. Four generations because nobody taught this one who taught this one who taught this one. Mm -hmm. And and right. somebody can break that cycle. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I know that, what is the angel baby thing where moms can go there and get training in Pickens County and, and they teach them how to parent and how to be a mom. And yes. that's one of those things sometimes you don't know because nobody set an example for you. You had mm -hmm. a great example. I I've did. Known I'm lucky. Years. <laughs> yes. I've known her mama 100 years. Golly, that's so weird. Not everybody's that fortunate. I know. Your mom was one of the first people I met when I moved to Jasper. And it's because she was the secretary at Norga Supply and JS mm -hmm. worked there. So isn't that cool? It that is. is. So cool. That is so cool. And your parents, uh, everybody knows your parents because your daddy used to do a little bit of work for about everybody in the county. He still does. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. So, so what's it like to have jobs that you know you're giving back? It is so rewarding. It's very rewarding, yeah. especially when you see a family who has come from generations of um, problems and mm -hmm. then you see them finally get it. Yeah. Their kids get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. we had five graduate this year from our program and they, gra they graduated and headed off to kindergarten. So that's always a bittersweet because mm -hmm. they. Um, one of them had been in our program since um, she was born, her wow. little girl was born, so wow. um, it's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And it's giving back now. You said you have 90 vendors. Is there still spaces for other vendors? I do. still have some hallway space available. Okay. So this year it's $85 mm -hmm. for a spot. Um, we anticipate, anticipate probably about 5,000 maybe come through. Mm -hmm. At, at a minimum over the weekend. We sell 300 tickets on Friday night. Mm -hmm. um, again, come in, have dinner, Who's wonderful catering. Cater. The meal? Who's doing the meal? Paula Zerch, and they have always been the Friday night dinner caterer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what will the meal be? Do you get a choice or how do you do that? We're serving Cajun turkey breast, mm -hmm. roast beef, green beans, garlic mashed potatoes, a side salad, rolls, and a multitude of mini desserts. Mm, I started to say, I bet there's a dessert is in, in, there included is. in this. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. also entertainment, and you get a um, $5 Diva and Dudes coupon to spend at any of the booths you would choose. Mm -hmm. And then we give, on Saturday, we give away door prizes all day long mm -hmm. from our vendors. Yeah. So. Now, tell me some of the vendors. What are some of the products people will be able to shop for? Um, it is all arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. So we've got ceramics, wood burning, candles, mm -hmm. vinyl, shirts, cups. Taylor's Great place boutique. to do Taylor's early. Boutique. Taylor's Boutique mm -hmm. will be there. They're there every year. Um, Pampered Chef, we do have a few. Mm -hmm. um, other companies, Pampered Chef, Mary Kay, Origami Owl will mm -hmm. be there. And then, um, but the majority is homemade items. So how simple to do your Christmas shopping there. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I guarantee you there'll be something that's affordable for everybody. Yes. There will be. You know, yeah. And it helps to have the $5 Diva and uh, Dudes coupon because mm -hmm. you can use that anywhere and they'll just take that off your total purchase. That's cool. At any booth. So. That's cool. Yep. Now, when you got involved in this as a job, did you realize how many people were hurting in Pickens County? I had no idea. Yeah. I've worked yeah. in health care and seen the, the troubled families, but I had no idea yeah. the magnitude that Pickens County serves. Right, right. We used to go to schools and talk to kids about drugs, and I remember a child in particular, and they came up to me after we gave our talk, and he told me that his dad was a drug dealer, and one of the teachers came up and said, could you tell me what that child told you? And I said, well, why? And she said, well, 
I'm actually a counselor and I know that he's had some problems and and I said yeah he's had some problems because his dad's up all night long doing drugs and he doesn't get any sleep mm -hmm. you know and and so there are children that don't know who to come and talk to and don't know that there is help available for them right yeah so for me my husband and I were foster parents for 10 years I remember so yeah. um, we just when this when I transitioned into this position, it was just more being able to work with um, the families that we knew existed in the community. Mm -hmm. And we are working with some of the young moms who were in foster care when we fostered. So um, it's just been a great journey for us mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. able to continue to help them. And when you see somebody who's gone through that system and changed and then all of a sudden they get it and they are that generation of success, how proud are you? Very proud. I mean, our it's our staff is over the top when we know someone's story and then mm -hmm. we see that they actually have overcome and their children have a chance. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you know, remember when we went to school and everybody was like, well, they don't have on the right kind of shoes or they don't have the wrong, you know, and, and kids, kids pick on kids. Yes. And that's one of the things a child who's in today's world, there are children who are homeless going to school. Absolutely. And they don't get to choose that I want to wear those Adidas tennis shoes. I don't want to wear those Nikes because Nike's not the trendy thing right now, you know. And, mm -hmm. and imagine being that child. Yes. Yeah. We use, we get so many resources and we try really hard to make sure that our families and their children have, mm -hmm. you know, as nice as we can possibly provide through donations and those type things. So yes, it's very important, especially as a child. Um, grows and ages mm -hmm. to be able to have some of those nicer things mm -hmm. so that's one of the things we we met two boys last week who I have their sizes now and I was going through an estate sale we we're doing and I'm picking out shirts to mm -hmm. take to these boys and I just said it's it's such a blessing to be able to do that you know because right. then you know that they're going to show up tomorrow with a new shirt to them you know and I picked out eight or ten shirts and I thought that's really cool because I'm going to launder them and have them on hangers and then hand them to them and, and it gives them a little bit of pride. Right, it does. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and not every child gets to go, we've spoiled ours, we know that, mm -hmm. you know, we do that. Um, not every child gets to go in and say, oh, I've worn those shoes five times, I don't want to wear those anymore, you know. There are kids out there who never get a new pair of shoes. Right. So, now, <clears throat> with what you do for a living, do you see needs that aren't being met in Pickens County? Are there more things that we can do? What can we do to help? Um, well, for us, we, we always are able to accept diapers, mm -hmm. diaper products, wipes, those type things. Mm -hmm. um, we have some great partners that help us with some food items. Um, and so anything baby related, books, mm -hmm. um, we take a book out to every visit and we do two visits a month with each family. So we always take uh, books out because we want them to be school ready mm -hmm. and that's one of the things we work on them when we're in the homes so um, you know Christmas is coming up and we usually put a you can go to www.northgeorgiafamilypartners.org mm -hmm. and we have a list from Amazon so the older kids in the family main a lot of donations are for under five mm -hmm. so older kids will put things on there <coughs> so that we can help out through the holiday season mm -hmm. and the older kids will be able to have some of the things that they wish for as well mm -hmm. so you can find all of that on our website now how many families do y'all serve uh, currently we are serving 25 families mm -hmm. through our parents as teachers program which is the two visits a month but we also are serving 35 families through um, drug court we mm -hmm. also teach mm -hmm. life skill classes right. um, twice a week here in Gilmer County so mm -hmm. Um, we're start, and then once they are complete with their drug court classes, then we go into the home, especially if they have children, and work with them through our Parents mm -hmm. as Teachers program. Do you encourage the parents to go back to school and get their GED? Yes. Is that something that's so important to y'all? What we have is a Kids Cash product, uh, Program, mm -hmm. and so for every visit they keep, for if they get their GED, if they get a promotion, if they buy a home, um, if they go back to college, graduate, anything they do that elevates their situation, they earn kids cash all year long. And then in December, we put on a program where they can come and they can buy, um, help buy Christmas for their family. That's awesome. And so it's, it's more like a hand up instead of a handout. Mm -hmm. And they work diligently all year long to, to get their numbers up so they can come in and 
yeah. and do that. And we, we offer life <coughs> skill classes. Um, they can come in and learn about budgeting. They can learn how to prepare a meal. And so um, with that, we try to do, um, if, if we're going through job-related training, mm -hmm. we try to make sure that they get a, an outfit for the interview and mm -hmm. uh, those type things. So. I was going to ask you about that because I have a lot of dress-up clothes. People don't dress up Absolutely. anymore. Absolutely. <laughs> but I have a bunch of this estate we're settling. Sure. And I would love to help. Mm -hmm. The one thing we have is like 80 pair of high heels. Oh, wow. 80 pair of dress shoes. So anybody who works in an office could have a dress if they wore a seven or a seven and a half. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and pocketbooks. Yesterday, I found like 40 pocketbooks. She had a pocketbook to match every pair of shoes. Well, so, one of the churches um, last year put they all brought purses mm -hmm. and then they filled them with personal care items for oh, women. Oh, how cool is that? And then they gave them to us. So that was something else that they got with their job training. Uh -huh. And also if we have a mom who has to kind of leave in an emergency and she doesn't get to take anything with her, we have bags for her and the children that mm -hmm. can get them through a couple mm -hmm. of days mm -hmm. until they can um, get on their feet. Right. So. And being a woman who's left in the middle of the night because of those situations, I understand. Yes. When, when the violence is there, the abuse is there, and you have to flee, you often leave with nothing. With right. nothing. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. That's a great project for us to think about. After the estate sale, I want to go through all these purses, and, and we could stuff them, and, and that would mm -hmm. be really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. We'd love that. It's, it's amazing to me the things I found that had tags on them because she never used it. And, like, she would buy... A pack of socks or a pack of panties and use two pair of each and then there's the rest of the packs and they're brand new so right. there you go there you go y'all have encouraged me well, good. wonderful, that is, wonderful. So cool. that is so cool we uh just skipping back to holiday market we do want to thank our sponsors mm -hmm. um without them we wouldn't be able to put this on every year and right. so our sponsors this year are renaissance bank mm -hmm. piedmont mountainside uh, stephanie r and r towing mm -hmm. and coca-cola mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they have been great sponsors for us throughout the years and they really make it possible. and how many years does this make y'all have done this 11 yeah we mm -hmm. did the first one yeah. um, my friend who does ceramics we just said i said come and do this we'll have fun and we did you know right. and that's what it was about we didn't make a lot of money that first year but we had fun it was right. fun yeah and we met some nice people so yeah yeah, yeah. I, I actually used my favorite quilt as our table cover and it was my green and pink one that i just love so and it's it great was fun. because it kicks off the holiday season mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know it's those first little christmas things that you get yeah. and again friday night is what time friday night is 4 30 to 8 mm -hmm. um, and then Saturday is 9 to 4. And what time is dinner served? It's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. So okay. from, at 4 30 and like I said it is a ticketed event. Mm -hmm. We should have a few spaces um, if you don't get a ticket in advance but um, it's, it's a lot of fun, great fun. Friday what if somebody wants to buy that and give it as a gift? How Absolutely. do they get in touch with y'all? Absolutely. You can go on our website and purchase tickets. Okay. Um, okay. You just go in at our uh, holiday market, and there's a space to purchase the number of tickets you like. Yeah, that's neat to put some women together and just mm -hmm. have a fun night yeah. out. Yeah, so great. you're right. You're right. So, all right, girls, um, have we covered anything else? Do we need anything we're, else we haven't covered? I think we're that's good. Yeah. Okay. Again, and tell them the date. November 18th and 19th. 18th and 19th, and at Appalachian Tech, which yes. is a great location. Friday night is a ticketed event. Saturday mm -hmm. is open to the public. Mm -hmm. We do ask that you make a minimal $1 donation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gate fee. Right. Um, that's where we're able to really give back to the community. Sure, sure. That's what it's about. And if people want to help you, do you need volunteers? Wonderful. Do you need people to give you things? What are things that people may be sitting at home? It's like the house we're cleaning out. Nobody ever had as many pocketbooks in the world, but the idea that that church stuffed those pocketbooks, that's the coolest idea. Yes. That's, that's a cool a great idea. idea. Yeah. Um, anything, um, like most of the, the children we work with are under five, so mm -hmm. anything um, related to that. Um, other items they might need, you know, it could be clothing or something for the adults, but mm -hmm. m most of the time those are just more individual requests, mm -hmm. and we don't have a ton of um, storage so hopefully one day we'll have a, a better mm -hmm. opportunity to take tons of donations and have them on site. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we usually just try to handle those larger requests as needed. But books are one of the things yes. you mm -hmm. certainly Children's love to books, have. Yeah. Uh, are yeah. something we always use and we, 
run out of, of and then diaper products or mm -hmm. something else. And the programs mm -hmm. we offer is free of charge. We don't charge our families for anything. Mm -hmm. If they have a need, we try to provide that. And What if there's a family sitting down there that needs your services? Um, they can reach out to us by going, they can go and do a self-referral on our website mm -hmm. and just fill out the information and then we would contact them and set that visit up. What if they don't have an internet? They can call us. Okay, call give me us. your phone number. 706-253-6488. You got it. <laughs> and we, we um, function 75% on donations. Mm -hmm. um, would love to move into Gilmer County within the next year, mm -hmm. but would have to have someone in Gilmer willing to step up, mm -hmm. make the difference financially. Right. And we would get started up here. When you're talking about the drug court moms, I, I'm very familiar with that. Um, if you're serving 35 families, how do you budget who gets what? How do you split that money? If you don't get great donations, then everybody gets less, don't they? They do. They do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yes. So if people are looking at year-end financial planning, maybe somebody who did very, very well this year mm -hmm. could just write a check to y'all. It's tax deductible. It is tax deductible. Okay. And we're coming up on that time of year, so it's the perfect time to look at that. Mm -hmm. And as Absolutely. far as budgeting for 2023, it's also the perfect time to look at, you know, mm -hmm. moving forward in that, mm -hmm. in the 2023. So, mm -hmm. okay. yes, we definitely would like to grow into Cherokee, or not Cherokee, but LJ. Gilmer. Yes, and um, provide our parents as teacher services up here. There so. you go. Okay, and their phone number again is 706-253-6488. Pick up the phone and call these ladies, and number one, come out and be at the holiday event because I've been there. It's fun, some good items, and some great prices, and uh, a great cause. So thank you Wonderful. both so much. Thank We're you. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, you're going to get to meet a beautiful lady whose son, I think, has decided to serve our country. You know, that's something. When I look at this flag behind me and I think about all of you who made the right choice, I'm very thankful, and we're going to talk about that when we come back. For chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, 
but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Help them on the part just the way she used to me. And if someone needs a friend just to sit and talk with them, she'll answer every call, even if it's 3 a.m. I'll bet they're singing in heaven tonight They're gathered in on heaven's shining shore Ya 
Hey, we're back, and guess what? We have an Army mom with us. You want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Rebecca Harrell. And your son is? Jake Staggs. And guess what? <laughs> what? Military mom. I am a military mom. Yay. It's so good to be back. Are you proud of that, son? I am. Yeah. I am. It's yeah. been wonderful having him home for the last couple of weeks. And now he's gone to Savannah? He has. So it was bittersweet today. He uh, graduated, um, I think the last time I was on your show, mm -hmm. he uh, had, we had gone to base, uh, he Kansas? graduated. Kansas, wasn't it Kansas? No, it was Oklahoma, Oklahoma. remember? Yeah. And we, yeah, we, yeah, we went yeah. over, uh, we drove over in an RV and went right. to Oklahoma yep. and I got to see him graduate basic training. And uh -huh. then he was actually moving or uh, uh, shifting over to advanced training and uh, Houston and so he w just graduated a couple weeks ago doing that so he's been home for a couple weeks and now he's actually uh, official I guess and yeah. so he'll be doing medical uh, with the Army so we're wow. so excited but it was a very bittersweet this morning to, to yeah. see him go yeah yeah but how cool is that that he's it's a volunteer military it is, you know, I yeah. think I, I may have shared the last time I was here. So my husband certainly uh, retired military. Mm -hmm. uh, his father also actually was a medic mm -hmm. in the army as well. My dad. So it was kind of uh, always, I think, uh, in the back of his mind. But my uh, son had graduated college and uh, took a year, came up here and spent a year uh, working up here. And really, I think just for some reason, I think had a calling and mm -hmm. came to us uh, back last year and said, I think I want to join and we were kind of a little bit surprised mm -hmm. and so you sure about this and mm -hmm. he said I am and so he left and certainly it was a little bit of uh, you know apprehension on our side just because of all the things that were going on. Yeah but the world I, is uncertain. Sure yeah, and yeah. you know just any time you know he's our only son and we just were you know certainly always you know, have that fear factor mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. he has blossomed we just have That's seen awesome. this child just even though you know certainly he's always just been a great kid we just really have seen him grow and yeah. uh, just mature even more and uh, I think he's always had that heart of uh, a kind heartedness and empathy for people and so to see him go move into that medical side I mm -hmm. think was just a natural fit for him and so we're just so excited for him. So Did his grandparents live to see this? Are they still uh, around? No. Now? Well, my, my mother and uh, my husband's mother are still, but unfortunately, uh, the grandfather. Grandfather did not get to see that he wow. went to the military. But I think I, I think he knows uh, that that's probably why. You know, I, in the back of his mind, I think he knew that it was important to him. That's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So it was a little bittersweet this morning. Yeah, I can imagine it was. Yeah. Now, you're here talking about something that's a, a very special place to me, the Optimist. Yeah. What a great organization. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, I've had the honor of being the president of the Optimist Club in the past year. And uh, so Optimist Club, so we are t celebrating 10 years mm -hmm. uh, here in Gilmer County. Uh, for a lot of people that don't know what the Optimist Club is, we're actually a part of the Optimist International. Mm -hmm. So we're actually over a hundred year old organization. Uh, and Optimist International is actually, an Optimist Club is really a part of, you know, youth. You know, we really mm -hmm. support the youth in our community and really bringing out the best in our youth. So when I got involved with the Optimist Club, you know, four or five years ago, when we, I first moved here in LJ, you know, I wanted to find something I could give back, and I know mm -hmm. the ladies that were here other, uh, earlier, it was really, how can I give back to our community? Mm -hmm. And I found something that was very near and dear to me, because, you know, certainly being involved over the years and with children and working with a lot of kids. And so when I got involved, I found that it just was just a great organization, not only in what they were doing, but also I just these friendships that I made. And I just, just saw a club that went from just a very small group of 24 when it chartered 10 years ago and, mm -hmm. and probably half of that was really active mm -hmm. and they were meeting at Double L restaurant right. and, and actually moved over to I think IHOP mm -hmm. and we have grown over to a hundred member organization and actually we meet um, at the Playhouse mm -hmm. uh, downtown uh, on the first and third Friday of every month and we just have just been such an active club now so I think we're one of the largest civic organizations here in Gilmer. And tell people what the optimist actually, what are the things that you might provide or you might do? Yeah, so a lot of people may see us, you know, around uh, town because we do a lot of service projects, certainly, mm -hmm. but we probably have, our, we're mostly known for our Stuff the Bus. Mm -hmm. So on the summertime, right before school starts, we're out there in front of Walmart. Uh, we'll see the school bus and we're act actually, you know, 
uh, jiggling the the uh, jars and you'll see us asking for school donations mm -hmm. we just did the past year we've actually done it for the last 10 years like backpacks and backpacks, school, supplies. school supplies all that for not only teachers but also for the students mm -hmm. and this year we had the most donations we've ever had almost nine thousand dollars in monetary and supplies wow. we actually had so many donations the first day that we had to get a second bus brought in oh my gosh which was awesome how cool is mm -hmm. that yeah so we did that so that's always kind of been our our i guess our, what we're known for but we've also support our sack pack program mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. many know about the sack pack program for the within uh, conjunction for the Gilmore food pantry mm -hmm. and so that's when a child uh, unfortunately doesn't have the food on the uh, weekends and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they have a backpack of food uh, a sack that uh, actually gets and so we do that every year we do a big fundraiser and we work with the food pantry and we do it at Chateau Maitre we've done that for the last uh, probably seven or eight years mm -hmm. and uh, and we've raised last year we raised over nineteen thousand dollars and so we'll have that coming up in February uh, and that's going to be a big fundraiser coming up and, and then, you know in Gilmer County the wealth here, mm -hmm. there's a lot of wealth in Gilmer mm -hmm. County. There's a lot of poverty in Gilmer mm -hmm. County. Yeah. And people don't really understand that there are children who get off the school bus on Friday mm -hmm. afternoon and don't know where their next meal is coming yeah. from. Yeah, and you know, and I think that was so telling for all of us. I mean, I think sometimes we live in our own bubble mm -hmm. and we don't always know, you know, really As what's going on. As you're sitting in a restaurant ordering your meal and not thinking, oh, I can't afford dessert. I can't, mm -hmm. you're thinking there's a child somewhere that's hungry. Yeah, and, and I think what's wonderful about you know our club and, and really all the civic clubs in, in Gilmer is they really do a great job of giving back and not only just monetary but in their time mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. really being involved in so many different things, whether it's going to the schools and reading on the Dr. Seuss day or uh, you know going out and, and working and, and like we uh, will do a lot of service projects where uh, Appalachian children where we try to fix up outside or clean up mm -hmm. or um, just different things that we try to do so that was one of the things that we really tried to work this year as one of our initiatives is doing more service so mm -hmm. like we've got coming up at Harrison Park uh, we've got the big Halloween uh, thing at the end of the month on the Saturday the 29th and so last year I think there was over 4,000 kids and so we decorated our booth with 40 plus other vendors around mm -hmm. and and we got to give back and get to see all the kids in Gilmer County and surrounding counties that came out and that was just so awesome that mm -hmm. we were able to have all the kids just come through and have a, an, a safe area for them to be able to trick or treat. And we had over 9,000 pieces of candy donated within our club members. And it was just wow. so much fun. And we got to de you know dress up. And and where do they have this event? Actually, at Harrison Park, right okay. down outside yeah, yeah, yeah. McCutcheon, uh, yeah. right on, off of downtown um, LJ. So yeah. we've got that coming up. We also What do time do they do it? Um, I think it's 1 to 4 or 12 to 4 or mm -hmm. something like mm -hmm. that uh, on the 29th of October. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to take your children trick-or-treating, mm -hmm. this is the perfect way to do it. Oh. Number one, during daylight hours. And number two, you park and you go to all these different vendors and you don't have to car and be worried about safety and a kid running out in front of a car and da 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 da, -da. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, and yeah. they get to walk around, they get to do different things, they get to go to all the different booths and mm -hmm. things. And so, and like I said, a lot of the different, you know, from real estate agents to other uh, civic clubs to just different people that have mm -hmm. booths up, you know, they can go in and just, you know, do that. So mm -hmm. there's all that candy and it'll definitely, they'll, they'll be, uh, They'll be full of candy bags, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so they'll yeah. have fun. Now, what about Optimist if somebody wants to join the Optimist Club? Yeah, so we, we always want you to come and visit because we want to make sure it's the right club for mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. So like I shared earlier, we uh, meet uh, twice a month. So the first and third Friday of every month from 12 to 1, we actually meet at the Gilmer Arts Playhouse. Mm -hmm. So right in downtown LJ. Uh, so we meet, we have, typically we have a speaker, uh, one of the uh, meetings, and then we do something kind of fun. We have like a team building or an icebreaker or we get to kind of know our members a little bit more mm -hmm. and then we'll do kind of a business meeting or something like that but we always we've had speakers from um, you know Appalachian Children has spoken we actually this Friday is one of our uh, meetings we are doing a 
uh, kind of a two-part. We actually have uh, Carla Roper from the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. They just built a beautiful new facility, mm -hmm. re remodeled it, right. and she's going to be speaking about that. And then we're having draft day because we've got a lot of projects. I think we've got 12 plus projects going on, and so we need volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of doing a, a football themed draft day, so we're going to kind of have it all out so people know time commitment, you know, what it's going to take to do all those things, so we're kind of having, making it kind of a fun football themed draft day. So we'll have people, so we want to invite you to come and check us out, make sure we're the right club. And then to be a member, certainly you just, you know, put an application and there's a, uh, a fee associated with it to mm -hmm. pay uh, to Optum International and to our club, and, uh, and then you can be a part. You know, one of the things that's, I think, different for us is we don't require you to be at every meeting. We don't mm -hmm. require you to put in certain volunteer hours. We want it to be what you want, how much you want to put mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. And so we have some that are, unfortunately, work full time, mm -hmm. you know, and so they can't always be at every meeting. So you, some that are school teachers that can only can come to maybe our uh, evening events that we mm -hmm. have uh, for our social events, or maybe can only come to volunteer at certain uh, projects that we have. So we try to make it very flexible for people, um, but that's why we kind of tried figured out that lunchtime was a really great time. So people would come at lunch hour, we brown bag it. Mm -hmm, so you can mm -hmm. bring your lunch, you don't have to, you just can do whatever you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great group. I mean, I've made more friendships um, and these are long lasting friendships. And we really try to welcome you and, and figure out what's best, you know, uh, that you find. And, and not everybody has to be involved in every project. Mm -hmm. And that's what's great. And everybody has something that they're talented with, whether it be oh. speaking or making or posters or somebody has some you have some talents you can do oh absolutely So everybody has something they can give back well and like we did um, so Harrison Park also does scarecrow uh, in the park mm -hmm. and uh, so we had a group of probably five or six volunteers that we made our scarecrows mm -hmm. and, and so we wanted to have our Optimist Club scarecrows and so we had some people that were you know building we had some people like you said that were very crafty and mm -hmm. that could make the mm -hmm. scarecrows but it was great because we used new volunteers that just, or new members that just joined that mm -hmm. wanted to volunteer. We had some that had been lo uh, uh, longer, you know, volunteer or members. And so they were able to kind of be a part of it. So it's been great to actually have a mix of different people. Because I find so many clubs always had the same people doing the same thing over and over. Yes, and so we yes. always try to make sure that we bring different people together and and don't always feel it's cliquish. We don't want that to be the case. So mm -hmm. that's why it's important for our club to get people, we buddy each other, we make sure that we call each other, we communicate, we do you know uh, quarterly newsletters, everybody kind of knows what's going on, we do weekly emails, we have a Facebook page, our Gilmore Optimist Club Facebook page, so everybody kind of knows what's going on. Uh, what's great, I was gonna share with you, so a funny story, uh, we just had our 10th anniversary banquet, and uh, so, it's, it's a big deal to have um, Optimus International president uh, to, you know, certainly because she's, you know, he or she are over almost 3,000 clubs internationally, so mm -hmm. all over. Big and deal. Big deal. Big deal. So, uh, so I had uh, our uh, past Optimus International president zoom in to one of our clubs in April, and she zoomed in on one of our meetings, and it was wonderful, and she made a comment. At the time, I think we had about 80 members, and she said, uh, if you all ever get to 100 members, I'm coming to Georgia. So I said, okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Well, when our banquet was coming up at the end of September, I sent her an email, and I said, well, we did. Pack your bags. We <laughs> hit 100. Yeah. So I said, I don't know if you can make it, but you're welcome. You know, we've got an open invitation. Well, sure enough, she came. Wow. And so it was a great honor to have uh, Patsy here. And, uh, and so we were able to have her and, and so many uh, uh, distinguished guests to come. And actually, uh, some folks that were very much involved from our Jasper Club and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, people that were very involved in our creating of our charter 10 years ago that were part of our club's creation. And so it was just a really honor to have all those people because, you know, a lot of clubs don't last mm -hmm. and a lot of clubs dwindle. And the fact that we grew year over year over year, mm -hmm. even for a small amount, but we sustained. And to think where we've come is amazing. So. I love the idea that you know that not everybody, I, I have this thing, I will financially contribute and I will do what I can 
but because I have a crazy schedule, I can't commit to certain times or days because I never know where I'm going to be. Sure. And some clubs are like, nasty if you're not there when you're supposed to be but I love the idea that y'all are kind of open to what works for the members schedule mm -hmm. don't make anybody feel guilty because you mm -hmm. can't be there because maybe you know there's something else going on in your life sure well, so we have that's real cool. estate agents. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah we have a lot of real estate agents if I get a call and somebody says I want you to meet me in in Morganton or in Murphy or in McKaysville and they want to write a contract I You're can't going. be at that meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I'm blame sorry. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I do not blame you one yeah, bit. So I love your attitude yeah. about that because come and do what you can and everybody kind of feels comfortable with that. Well, so. and, and not everybody can donate financially. Mm -hmm. And we know mm -hmm. that. Right. And, and so that was the one thing too is a lot of people want to give back time mm -hmm. and they want to be able to be more involved and mm -hmm. get more, like I said, hands on. And right. so, you know, that's why that was very important to us in this past year and even moving mm -hmm. forward is we want to make sure that we're doing projects that we can actually be out and mm -hmm. do things. So, you know, we do the road cleanup, uh, which is very important to us, especially for, you know, giving back and Earth Day and cleaning up just in Gilmore mm -hmm. County and mm -hmm. keep Gilmore beautiful. Um, like I said, and, and one thing that was really very near and dear to my heart uh, which really was instrumental in our uh, giving back. We, uh, so last year, actually two years ago, one, uh, one of our charter members, uh, Ellen Grant, I don't mm -hmm. know if you know I Ellen. Know her. Yeah. So her son, uh, uh, Justin. Justin Elliott, yeah. Um, yeah. passed away uh, right. from, from a I brain tumor. I remember it well. Yeah. And so one of the things that she wanted to do is we wanted to do a tennis tournament in his honor because mm -hmm. he was an avid mm -hmm. tennis player. Mm -hmm. So we did the Justin Elliott tennis tournament and uh, in the first year, we were like, you know what? We may not, we may not get anything. We may raise five thousand dollars, but that's okay. We're just going to try it. Mm -hmm. We raised close to twenty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! How cool was that? And I think it was, we were at twenty-one thousand was our total. So what we did with that money, though, is we created a grant program mm -hmm. with our Optimus uh, Foundation, and and it was so wonderful because what we were able to do then is take that money and reserve it. So mm -hmm. we were able to take part of it that year and put the other for the reserve for this year. Mm -hmm. So then when we had our past tournament, we kind of did the same. We're like, all right, what, what, what do you think we'll raise? So we were able to raise about 15000 this mm -hmm. past year. So mm -hmm. now we have reserve moving forward. That's amazing. Year year. Yeah. And so we were able to do three uh, grants for uh, Greater Gilmore Foundation, um, actually uh, Gilmore Arts, and for Appalachian Children, uh, and for the uh, future farmers at the high school. Mm -hmm. So that was just actually given the past few mm -hmm. months, which was wonderful. Yeah. So they were all children, you know, child-related uh, programs that were very, again, very near and dear to our heart. Mm -hmm. So now we have the grant program that'll actually open up in January this year. So people, and we have more monies to be able to give. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll be doing that. Uh, we're actually going to be adding pickleball this year, and we're going to do a golf tournament uh, this yeah. year. And pickleball so, yeah. is such a big deal. Oh my goodness! Oh my it's, goodness! It's, yeah, it's I like I'm not anything. I haven't done pickleball yet, but yeah, we are yeah. so so excited they're yeah. going to be joining with us. You know, one of the things that I've talked about every day before and after the Apple Fest. Festival is a lot of people say, well, I don't want to go to town because of the Apple Festival. I don't want to be a part because it's so crowded. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. I kept telling people every dime raised at that Apple Festival stays right here in Gilmer County. And it benefits your community mm -hmm. and your neighbors and maybe your kids who are going to fall on hard times this year. And and it's so important to kind of overlook the things that make it inconvenient because the traffic is an inconvenience. But when you look at 59,000 people came to Gilmer County to go to the Apple Festival, every dime spent stays right here. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, shared, you know, I'm part of the uh, Gilmer Chamber Board, and, mm -hmm. you know, certainly uh, Apple Festival, I love being a part of the Apple mm -hmm. Festival. It's and amazing. It, it is probably one of the most fun times that I get to be, because I get to actually work uh, the gates with mm -hmm. and, and being a part of that. We had an amazing year. It's and awesome. and it was so wonderful to see so and many And the people. weather was the good. Weather was perfect. The weather was I mean, perfect. who could have asked for a better weather <laughs> no, both no. weekends? It was awesome. But it was yeah, we had close to 60,000 people mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. came. And what was also amazing was the, so many people were new to mm -hmm. LJ mm -hmm. in Gilmer County. Mm -hmm. And a lot mm -hmm. of people, you know, were very much uh, interested and they got to visit the Apple House and the wineries and mm -hmm. so many areas. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were just, you know, visiting. I, you know, I got on, I got to ride the bus. So I always park and ride the bus over. Mm -hmm. And so I, of course, stand up on the bus and ask, okay, hey, I'm Rebecca. You know what? 
tell me where you know who's who's driven the farthest. I had people mm -hmm. from Texas and mm -hmm. New Jersey and Florida mm -hmm. and South Georgia, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. And half the bus was brand new to Gilmer County, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it was really amazing just to hear so many people because you would think everybody just oh that's my tenth time being here. Mm -hmm. So, but when I get to work the gates, and um, and so you get to see so many, hear so many people. But we had a lot of new things this year. We did a you know I felt like the Lions Club and the Chamber. We just did, really wanted to it bring a different experience. Yeah. We had uh, wonderful entertainment as you we talked about a lot of new music. We had a lot of more booths this year, uh, and, and so it was just a really fun, wonderful event. And like you said, we mm -hmm. could not have asked for better weather and just great people that came. Well, I have a new slogan for you because you're involved in the okay. chamber. All okay. All right. Let me this try is, to write this down. This is, this is my <laughs> slogan that I came up with about six or eight weeks ago because I'm a back roads girl. And okay. I will tell you yesterday, and I'm challenging everybody out there, go drive Boardtown today. Okay. Yesterday, I drove Boardtown twice. It was absolutely gorgeous. And my slogan is, if you only know the roundabout, you don't really know Ella J. Get out and go in every direction away from the roundabout. Enjoy your time in town. But do not leave Gilmer County without expanding your horizons. Go to 52 East, go to 52 West, go out Boardtown Road. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Boardtown Road, I'm getting cold chills. It's beautiful well, out yesterday, there. Yesterday, Boardtown Road was picture perfect, mm -hmm. amazing, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting at home today watching us, and if you have time, go over to Mike's and get you some lunch, and then go out and take a ride, leave the downtown element. Enjoy the downtown element when you want to, but if you only know the roundabout, you don't know Ella J. And it's it's so vast and so much cool stuff. You know, you know, my husband and I, we love just to ride. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. what I love because we live up 52. Do you know what Fordna Creek is? I do. Okay. Well, we got, we live up 52 West. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't know Chatsworth mm -hmm. Highway. I do. I do. And so going up Fort Mountain State Park. Yes. Up, I mean, it yes. is beautiful. Yes. And if you yes. ever you know want, like you said, go out. 382, two, mm -hmm. I mean, all that whole area. And mm -hmm. right now, like you said, the leaves are changing. It's gorgeous you know, and people, today. We, we, uh, it was amazing just to hear from people that were traveling, like you said, uh, from other areas and to see their excitement of just the leaves and They've things. They've never seen the leaves They've never turn seen before. That. Yeah, and so yeah. it was just really great just to, to experience kind of uh, Gilmer through their eyes mm -hmm, a little bit because mm -hmm. we get, I guess sometimes we take that for granted a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we were very uh, excited about that and, and, and again, partnering with the Lions Club, they are a wonderful civic organization mm -hmm, as well mm -hmm. and to see all the things that they've done and really worked hard and things because they do a lot of wonderful things too in our community mm -hmm. and they're, like you said, they do a lot uh, for the children and things and, and the programs that they put together and the monies that they raise and work together so a lot of that apple that festival money I mean it's just amazing mm -hmm. so we're very appreciative of everybody that came out and and worked hard I mean it it took a village and it oh, really yeah. it oh, was yeah. it really paid off though it was amazing and 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 the weather was just like perfect okay we're almost out of time you see how fast time goes well, see I love coming here you know yeah, I do. yeah <laughs> yeah and and again the optimist Halloween event is going to be at October, Harrison Park Harrison Park October 29th but again if you're interested and in, and in coming to check us out at the optimist mm -hmm. club we're actually our, our meeting is this Friday at the Gilmer Playhouse right mm -hmm. in downtown on Dalton Street. Uh, we're meeting at, at 12 o'clock noon from 12 to 1, mm -hmm. um, Friday the 21st, but we meet the first and third Friday. But check us out on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, the Gilmer Op Optimist Facebook page. Um, you can always find out you can, any information. We always have our events, our pictures, anything that's going on, always check us out. And we do try to share it amongst all the different Facebook groups within Gilmer. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, y'all have got to tune in tomorrow because Mr. Ella J right now is talking to a 101-year-old teacher that was his teacher here in Gilmer County. And I can't wait till he shares the information he gets from her. He's just doing a little visit with her today. And that is so cool to that know that awesome. Gilmer County, you know, Gilmer County is a, a, a product of the teachers and the students and the band members and the band directors and, and the people who continue to keep in touch with each other. And that's what's really, really this cool community. about this community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's great about this yeah. community. So right now... Oh yeah, we want to show you, we're going to grow here at ETC. We're having a little bundle of joy. 
This little bundle of joy is coming in and her name has not been designed or chosen yet. But her mom and dad are Bree and Tim Christensen and they're gonna be having a baby girl. Anything you see good that happens here at ETC, Tim Christensen is responsible for. He's my executive editor. He edits out anything I want rid of. So, so we love him so much. And to he and Bree, congratulations. The baby will be here in April. I think she's due April the 13th. So she is almost a tax baby, but uh, we're excited about this. We're gonna have a baby girl. We're gonna have another baby girl. Okay, we're gonna leave you now with some very special music. Um, Alzheimer's affects so many people and there is nothing we can do to stop the onset of Alzheimer's, but we have to be prepared to care for our parents, to care for our family members, to care for our loved ones who come down with this horrible, horrible disease. And uh, we're gonna share the music of a lady who was very, very special to us. And uh, she was sitting here at ETC, did the show with me several times, had no idea that she was developing full-blown Alzheimer's. She has gone to go with the Lord recently, but her daughter says, it just blesses my heart to see my mama. So here we go. Here's just a, li a little visit as we did about, I think it was about 10 years ago. But when we look back in that 10 years, I can name 12 of my closest friends who had Alzheimer's, who passed from Alzheimer's and are gone on. So uh, remember Alzheimer's patients every single day and, and keep your patience and keep your faith because they have no idea that they're forgetting us. Here we go.